Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a short video on a new course that I think is just a few days old. I purchased it when it first came out, just finished it, thought it was really interesting, and wanted to talk about maybe who this course would be good for and do I recommend it and some of the stuff about it that I thought was really interesting. In no way am I affiliated with this course. I'm not affiliated with it in any way. I just thought it was super interesting and wanted to share it. Um, I'm not going to be sharing any of the content of the material because this is a paid course and obviously I don't want to leak any of that information, but I am going to talk about why this may be a good course for you or why it might not be a good course for you. First, before we get started, if you are new here, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future content. I do tons of tutorials. You don't want to miss them. Moving on. So let's talk about who built the course and then we'll talk about what the course is and all that good stuff and my opinion on it, etc. So it says just JavaScript will help you develop a rock solid understanding of how JavaScript works through intuitive visual explanations and learning challenges. I can attest to that. Um, one thing to note is that just JavaScript is a text course. It is not videos. So it's, it is interactive in certain ways. So I'm not going to give away too much of the information, but there's quizzes and that sort of thing, but it is a, uh, a course that you're going to be reading through and not watching videos. So the two main people who created this course is, uh, Dan Abramov renowned in the front end developer community, of course, and he created all of the code and the content in terms of the actual course, while Maggie Appleton created all of the illustrations and the aesthetic, I believe there's more information on that right here. Overall, the aesthetic is great, very clean, very simple, very straight to the point, basically no filler whatsoever. I'm just going to say great job, great collaboration, loved it in that sense. So there's more people that were involved. I'm just going to name them off. I'm going to butcher some of the names, unfortunately, but I'm still going to try. No disrespect if I mispronounce your name. I just am kind of terrible at that. So again, forgive me if I say it wrong, but we have Joel Hooks, Kate Hohen, Vota Holik, Ian Jones, Laura Silva, Taylor Bell, Lucas Minter, Daniel Miller, and Nicole Gorinzo. So these are the people who I want to say uh, work for Egghead or maybe not, but basically they are the ones that made this course possible in terms of the infrastructure and the back end and all that good stuff. So that's everybody that was associated with the course. So what about the course itself? What is the course about? Well, the headline says, explore the JavaScript universe, rebuild your mental model from the inside out. So with that being said, if you are the type of person who's looking for a course right now to learn new topics about JavaScript that you don't already know, or new topics that you have not been introduced to in terms of the functionality of the language, this isn't really the course you're looking for. Instead, what this course is good at is taking the things you've already learned and really nailing in the concepts to the point where you understand it at an intuitive level and can be more effective in the language. So really it's it's more about how can you think about the tools at your at your disposal in a better way that allows you to understand exactly how it's really working so that you can debug and understand your code even better and uh, operate more quickly and that sort of thing so it really does it really does start with the core concepts of like the most basic things in javascript so um so it's definitely not like an advanced level course, but I would not recommend this to an absolute beginner. And the reason why is because I think that if you are an absolute beginner, you should focus on learning JavaScript. So just learn the language because you need to understand what tools are at your disposal. And then after that, this course would be perfect for kind of thinking of a, uh, like coming up with a good way to think about what you've just learned and how to build a good mental model for you to continue learning and continue thinking about the language moving on in the future. That's what this course kind of does. So it says, on a good day, programming feels like magic. You patiently enchant the machine with tapestry of digital spells with a few confident keystrokes. You breathe life into the colorful dots on the screen. Oh, what a marvelous illusion you have created. It works, except when it doesn't. It strikes you just as you were about to go home. It strikes you during a pair coding session. It strikes you in the middle of that interview a bug that you can't explain you read the code again and again but you can't spot the mistake the articles you've read and the tutorials that you've watched did not prepare you for this moment or did they you've had to learn so much in so little time your mind is blanking you try a few different things should you remove this line reorder those two other lines maybe it will somehow just work if you try it again your confidence wanes with every attempt soon a voice in your head becomes impossible to ignore i don't know what i'm doing i'm just trying different things and hoping that one of them works will i ever get good at this so i'm gonna kind of give my opinion on what this is saying so 
when you're kind of newer to coding, or even if you're extremely experienced, if you never really take the time to fully understand exactly how the language is working, and that takes time and it takes effort, and sometimes you don't really need to be able to do that, right? You can get your job done without having to do this because of repetition, right? It's like muscle memory for your brain, so I don't know what you call that, like neuron memory, neural <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like muscle memory, but with uh, the concept of coding. Like you, you've seen that before. You you've seen that on Stack Overflow. You've seen this code pattern before. You know what to do. But what about when it doesn't work? Is it really working the way that you thought it was working, or? Is it potentially just something that you uh, have been slightly misunderstanding this whole time, and now you actually need to have that fundamental understanding of how that works, but you don't, and you don't know how to debug the situation, and you're like, oh, you become overwhelmed, and this is saying don't panic. You know JavaScript, sort of. You know which parts are good, or so you heard. Your pull requests get merged eventually, but you're feeling behind. Why does it take you hours to fix a bug that others fix in a few minutes? It's not imposter syndrome. We all have our moments of doubt, some of them never go away, but lack of confidence often reveals a knowledge gap. So how can you find it? Now, I don't wanna sit here and read this whole thing, but basically what this is getting at is what I kind of said, right? You, you kind of need to build a more fundamental understanding of the language. This course does a great job of basically helping you build a solid foundation on the, on the, on the most simple concepts for you to build off of. In other words, a, a good mental model and a good way to think about programming and JavaScript in general. So overall, my thought on the course is it starts off relatively slow and you might at the beginning have a hard time seeing the benefit of it. Uh, but as you go through it, you'll start to realize um, like it's going to ask you questions and when it asks you to do something, like if there's an exercise, I highly recommend you go do it. Even if it takes like a good 20 minutes to kind of find like a project for you to go attempt this thing at I'm not going to go into details with that but i highly recommend you do it because you are going to learn something you are going to get something out of this course i did i learned a few things and overall uh, i think i came out of this course as a better developer than when i went into it now this is a pretty short course. Like I was able to finish this course in like two hours. You could finish it faster, but I wanted to read it slowly and really absorb all of the material. And so it took me about two hours, but it could take anywhere from like a week. If you just do like 30 minutes a day or, you know, one module a day, that sort of thing, you can really finish this quick, but that's okay. Because honestly, that right now, I think it's like $25. It is well worth that. I mean, think about that. Like if you pay a tutor or something like that, you're gonna pay a lot more. Or if you're pay for like a boot camp or I don't know, Udemy course. It's gonna be a lot more than $25, so definitely worth the price. Um, one critique on the overall infrastructure of the course is kind of how you access the link for it. I think they did it in a kind of interesting way where they email you a reusable, a non-reusable link and then it expires in 24 hours. So for me, I just wanted to be able to access it very easily from my laptop and my desktop and my phone without having to request a new link. So maybe they can fix that in the future. But other than that, great stuff. Highly recommend it for the scenarios that I explained. And um, again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video, which by the way is coming out very soon and you guys are gonna love this one, so. P.S. All the links uh, to this stuff are gonna be in the description, including links to the course, links to uh, Dan Abramov and Maggie Appleton's Twitters, all that good stuff. Links in the description. All right, now have a good day. <laughs>